Hey there, this is Tiffany Manchester, your personal feel-good specialist, here to help you make every decision with ease so that you can live a life that you love. Because that's what we all want. We want to be happy, right? So this week, to pull our angel messages, I'm going to use my trusty fairy tarot deck. I like to use this card for these readings. For some reason, I feel like I get really clear, easy messages to share with you. And the fairies are our nature angels. So they live amongst us on earth. And so they work a lot with us in terms of manifestation, like, um, you know, our careers, our relationships, our, our personal desires. And so they're great to help us in terms of goal setting. So I already pulled three cards here just to make things um, move along a little more, more quickly because sometimes with the the 78 card deck, it takes a while um, till one pops out. And so I'm just saving us a little time. So I haven't looked at them yet. I'm just going to look at them with you and see what happens. So for Monday and Tuesday, oh man, it's crazy. I've pulled this card so many times this week for people. So um, I know a lot of people talk about Mercury retrograde and this could be a little piece about the fact that we're in Mercury retrograde right now. So this is a major arcana card. I'll hold it up to you, <clears throat> which represents a major life change. And so I'm just going to read it to you and then see what else the angels have to say. Let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. So I feel like when I look at this picture, this lady is surrendering a little bit. She's, look, she's sitting on the bench, she's got her arms outstretched in the receiving position with her, her palms facing up, and she's just sort of like, hey, take it, please take this from me, I need to let it go. And I think that's what the fairies and the angels would like for you to do on this Monday and Tuesday. It's about releasing whatever it is that's holding you back and maybe pulling you down. So... Maybe you just you feel like low energy. Maybe you're frustrated about something. Maybe you're uncertain about a decision to make, and you're you know you're like making the pros and cons list, and you're trying to figure it out, but nothing's really coming clear to you. So this is a message to just give it all to the angels. Just you can just in your mind say, you know what, you guys, you take this from me. I don't know what to do with it. I don't like how I feel. I don't know how to move forward. Please take it from me. And, and that's the great, that's a, the first step that you want to take when you're communicating with the angels. Just give them your worries and your doubts and fears. And so do that at the beginning of this week and be unabashed about it. Like at any point, at any time, a hundred times a day, a thousand times a day, there's no limit to giving them, uh, the problems and worries and concerns that you have. They, they want it all. They want you to release all of it. So never feel bad about that. Okay. So there's your Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, this is the five of spring card. <clears throat> so you can see these two little guys goofing around in this meadow. Let me read it. Opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. So I'm getting the sense that this is more about letting go. So, you know, Monday and Tuesday, you may be somewhat giving your fears and concerns up to the angels. And this card is saying you could do a little bit better with that. So don't hold back at all. Because if you have conflicting goals and desires, if you're struggling like in communication with someone where you have... Uh, someone disagrees with the choices that you're making or you want to make or something like that, um, then that's going to make it difficult for you to move forward in a way that feels confident and secure. And so if you make a decision or you move forward but you're not really certain about it, then it makes the whole journey of that decision um, less comfortable and less confident. And you don't want that. You want to make a decision that you feel really, really good about, right? So that it's just you're you're you just you know everything's good you're right on and so when you're not sure don't say yes and don't say no actually if it's not a yes it's a no so i think that's a good way to um 
figure out how to move through decisions quickly. But even still, if you're still not sure, just continue. Take your time. Don't make a decision yet when you're not sure. Don't move forward if you're not sure. There's no point. We've got all the time in the world. You don't have to rush these things, even if you feel the pressure to. So that's what they want you to know. Take the pressure off and take your time. So let's see what happens for the weekend. Of course. So <clears throat> actually, this is the, the next card that comes after the Monday, Tuesday card. That was 13. This one's 14 in the Major Arcana. Balance. So let me read this for you. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Oh my God. I promise you I did not look at these cards beforehand and I did not pull them. I promise you. You might be like, oh, she looked at them, but no. I guarantee you it's not fun. It's more fun for me to like have to go through this uh, in the moment. So <clears throat> this card is saying take your time to make the decision. So I feel like there's a big decision you want to make this week and um, you're just, you're, you're insecure about it and you're uncertain about it. And so the angels are saying, take your time, don't rush. Just because you think you have to make the decision quickly doesn't mean you actually have to. What's more important is coming to a decision that feels good to you. And so sometimes we need to take our time. We need to look at um, different things. We need to explore, is this something I even want to do? Is this the person I want to be with? Instead of, like you may have to take a few steps back before you can move forward. And that's not failure, that's not um, digressing, that's just life. There's no, in the, in the angelic realm, in the non-physical world, there's no such thing as time and space. We put those limitations on it, past, future, present, time taken away, life, death, we put all of that on us and it creates a sense of anxiety as we move through life. And so you don't need to do that. Just relax about it. Just take your time. The, the point is to feel good. It's not to feel rushed. It's not to feel stressed. And so do whatever you need to do to, to feel good for you in this moment. And that's the message the angels have for you. Thank you so much for listening. And please make sure to hop over to my website, followthefeelgood.com. We'll put the link somewhere down here. And it will take you over to some free resources where you can get my um, Introduction to the Angels or my Beginner's Guide to Meditation. Both of them will help you on your journey to feeling good and uh, developing your intuition. So thank you. I'm Tiffany Manchester, your personal feel-good specialist with followthefeelgood.com, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.